Okay. Um. Now I'm doing I'm doing a recording about not that any content and like not any like battles or anything like that. It's another FAQ. This time to touch weapon refinery because I have a certain friend. I have a certain friend that doesn't understand how to refine weapons. Despite look at how fast this stack this line is. And look at the vanilla weapon. So I'm going to teach them or anyone really that needs it how the weapon refinery works. But before understanding how it works, you need to know how to unlock it because it's actually not something you come with right away. Um, what you have to do in book one, you have to go. Uh, you got, uh, think you have to beat it all the way until until um, the abolical bloodline. And then you have to do, if I'm not mistaken, let me see if this is the one. Yes, this is the one. You have to go to this intermission and beat it. It's called the Ride of Blades. This will allow you to unlock the weapon refinery. In the, you know what? I said I wouldn't do any battles, but I think I may as well do it. I will not falter. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have some range attackers here. No melee attackers in range. They are, they are really behind, so I think what I'll do is just put them over here. Leave it to me. My warmest critics. And in between. Okay, I have animations on board. Get out of here! Oh, normally that would be problematic if I didn't have damage reduction. <laughs> well, but he barely this took it. Okay. However, you are going to be able to take easily. Don't be careless. Proceed with caution. On the right foot. I serve his highness. I think. All right. Yeah, it doesn't matter where I put him. I think the dude's going to take the hit. Yep. There we go. We need to get rid of Yulia. Leave it to me. Okay, I put it here. Done. We will not fall asleep. Wow. And he's going to get wrecked. Nope. No. <laughs> yep, exactly the do. No. I think that was a 55 damage hit. What the heck, man? Okay, once you clear that, you will unlock the weapon refinery back in the Ally Grove menu. You have to go here. Now, in the weapon refinery, what it does, you have to go, you have to have the currency known as refining stones. Well, uh, what I'm going to do is, well, take my man to do, and I'm going to refine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to teach him this weapon because I actually inherited a barrier axe because that will definitely help his. Um, he's overall bulky. Okay, now that he has the weapon, I think he should have enough speed to be able to do this. Sure enough, okay. Inherited weapons, they do take more SP to learn, but you can actually, well, refine him too. You can refine it in attack, speed, defense, or rest. Melee weapons are a little bit better than ranged ones, in terms of um, the, um, what you get, um, the stat boost. But, yeah, in the case of my man to do, I will refine the barrier acting resistance and equip it right away. Um, other melee refines um, increase the, my, the HP by 5, and for the stat boost, it'll be uh, plus 2 attack, plus 3 speed, plus 4 defense, or plus 4 resistance if they're melee weapons. For ranged weapons are a little bit weaker, uh, it's plus one attack, uh, plus two speed, plus three resistance, and plus three defense. And once you refine a weapon, you will get 50 Divine Dew, which is the requirement to refine legendary weapons. If I'm not mistaken, there was somebody else weapon that I wanted to refine. I kind of need to do it again. Uh, what? No, 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 no. Clear. Refine. Let me see. Hmm, I don't remember who it was. Um, 
hang on. I think I may cut here because it does. I don't have enough to bind you to do this. Which is this? I want to get this. Um. I don't know. I I, I apologize. I apologize for being so scattered. I should have looked for a second person to find. I I you know. I knew what one of them was to do, but the other one I didn't know. I didn't remember what it is. Um. Yeah. So yeah, cutting here. Hmm. We're finding personal assistance if we want. You know what? I think I found something. Okay, we're fine. Um, let me see. Do I want to do that? Oh no, you're good. Well, now I remember what I wanted to do with that no follow up fodder now. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Um. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to refine your weapon less. But if I were to do that, I would refine yours instead. Oh, I already did. Never mind. <laughs> I had some foresight. Uh, then yours it is. The Mario Plus with resistance. You don't have DSP. Wow, this video is a gun show. My <laughs> apologies. Um... I guess you will do. Um, I will refine your weapon in speed because there are some weapons like the effective weapons like the poleaxe or hammer that actually get an effect called the dull cavalry in the case of the poleaxe or dull armor for the case of the, ham the hammer because they are to well, disable stat boss for cal um, what is it from that specific thing you want to counter but I think for San that um summer sander will go for a speed refine his poleaxe. Um no I don't want to equip it I like the defense one. Now that I have that amount of divine duo I can choose to refine a legendary weapon. Now legendary weapons can be refined in one and two ways depending on certain units. Let me see an example here Oh, uh, I know. You. The Falchion actually has two upgrades. You can directly upgrade Falchion and get an of this upgrade, or you can side grade it into Seal Falchion, which is another version. Now, Seal Falchion itself has a refine as well, and these are very expensive. So if you want to go for these, you kind of want to assure yourself you want to go for it. They're cheaper than actually upgrade, getting the direct upgrade. But it's an option. Let's just say, yeah, Seal Falcon is really, 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 really good. Yeah, here you go. Here's a special effect if you want to read it. But the actual legendary weapon I want to upgrade is this one, Divine Turfing. Because it actually gives um, our man Sigurd, hold on. Our man Sigurd a considerable combat boost. And that's something I kind of wanted to refine. For a while, 
Also, legendary weapons do get the upgrades as well in stats if you feel that the special effect isn't that great. Uh, there are some cases I would say this is worth it, like um, Tiki's Breath of, Breath of Fog if you don't want to tear in a dragon, dragon in, in, in a dragon team or someone with a, a sword unit, or someone like Katria or any of the white wings if you're not going to pair them up in a flyer and one team. That is an option. Also, um, same rules with melee weapons and ranged weapons. Like, it's plus 2 attack for the melee weapons, plus 3 speed, plus 4 defense for sword resistance. However, there are some exceptions, like my dear Cherche over here. Uh, where is Cherche? There she is. Her weapon, the Cherche's Axe, it has a bit of exception due to the fact that since it's a brave weapon, the boosting attack is only plus one, which is usually in totally not worth it. Um, but I digress. Let's go and refine Divine Threatening. And that is a very big upgrade for you, Sigurd. And I want to mark you as built. Well, with that, I think I'm done for the time being. Um, see you guys later for anything else, if you have any things, any more videos for, any more topics for FAQs, let me know in the comments, and I suppose, since the man got his new weapon, I am prepared. I'm going to be concerned about you all I want because racism is, racism is not good. I, I will say, say it, uh, being racist is not good at all, don't be a racist. And if you, uh, you are racist in my face, get the hell out of my life. I don't need you. I don't want you. And I don't want to relate with a racist. With that out of the way, see you guys later.